Accusations are flying over school construction funding. The Brown for Governor campaign brought out some big political names to attack an alleged proposal that Larry Hogan claims isn't true. Hogan contends that he's never considered cutting millions in school construction funds. 11 News I team reporter David Collins is following the feud. He joins us here in the studio with tonight's Commitment 2014 report. David. The Brown campaign is pouncing on a some paper analysis of Hogan's tally of wasteful spending. It cites an audit that determined $450 million in school construction projects wasn't properly tracked. The issue was quickly resolved, and Hogan contends he never called for such a cut in the first place. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. One of Republican Larry Hogan's top campaign pledges has been to find some $1.7 billion in savings by cutting waste and fraud in Maryland government. He would use state and federal audits as his blueprint to find it. One of the records included in Hogan's audit collection found that the state didn't properly track $450 million worth of school construction money. But the issue was quickly resolved. In fact, in his most recent so called savings plan, he calls for a $450 million cut to school construction. That would set us back years. Democrat Lieutenant Governor Anthony Brown seized on the notion. That even though there was no suggestion that the 450 million was misspent, the Hogan campaign counted it as waste. I don't know what he's talking about. We'll have to look at that. I, I've, I've never talked about cutting that. The Hogan campaign acknowledges there may be some calculation errors, but the issue of fraud and waste in government remains a problem. But that answer didn't satisfy the president of the state's largest teachers union. Hogan said he absolutely stands by these numbers. Therefore, what he's standing by is a $450 million cut in school construction funding. House Speaker Michael Bush led a news conference to debunk the idea there was ever any fraud to begin with and to admonish the Hogan campaign for even considering looking at cuts in school construction funding. It also reflects, in my estimation, where they're looking to make cuts in government. And if they're looking to make cuts in school construction funding, uh, that is the wrong way to go. Speaker Bush says if Hogan means what he says, then Anne Arundel alone would lose $45 million in school construction money. Let me get a hug. But the Hogan campaign refutes the claim, calling it another Brown whopper who will say and do anything to get elected. Hogan charges that Brown is pulling numbers out of thin air and attaching his name to them. I, I've, I've never talked about cutting that. Speaker Bush maintains that if it's really a case of bad math, the lack of research on Hogan's part should be a red flag to voters. He also says Hogan's plan suggests that he doesn't view school construction as a priority. Reporting from the studio, David Collins, WBIL TV 11 News. All right, thank you, David. Well, from jobs to taxes and health care to education, you can learn more about the candidates and where they stand on the major issues in their own words. Our voter's guide is on WBALTV.com. Click on politics.